Hello everyone, Steve Smith here. Today, I am going to be reading and reacting to the comments left on my channel by the Scottish Family Party and their supporters. So, this should be fun, this should be, this should be great. On the 8th of April, that's almost a month ago, I received a leaflet through my door from the Scottish Family Party. As you can see on the screen there, I thought the I made a video about it. I thought their pledges, what they want to do in politics, was quite insane. I thought it was distasteful. I thought there was it was littered with transphobia and all sorts of phobias and all sorts of nastiness that I just really don't agree with, you know? So I created a video, as you can see on the screen there. It was called Who the Hell are the Scottish Family Party? Yet another nasty political movement. Because at the end of the day, this is who I think they are. Just another nasty political movement. I don't think there's anything special about them. I don't think they bring anything positive to the table in terms of politics and stuff. I think they're just a group of nasty people who want to use politics as a way to be nasty to people in society. Because there's people like that. In turn, I released that video and totally without my knowledge, the Scottish Family Party's leader, Richard Lucas, yeah, he released his own video in which he he stated that SFP election flyer attacked. He released his own 20 minute long diatribe where he picked parts of my video and then talked about his own political aspirations. Now, it's quite funny, as it's been pointed out by a lot of people that watch the video, he doesn't actually address the points I make. He just kind of listens to the points and then says his stuff, which is fine. He's allowed to do that. Fair, it's it's fair commentary, and it? it's if I make a comment about someone, they can make a comment about me. That's how fair. That's how free speech works in a fair society. I'm totally down for fair free speech. Unlike the Scottish Family Party, of course, who have been blocking anyone whose view does not agree with theirs. If your view doesn't align with theirs and you say it on their social media pages, you will get blocked because that's what they're like. They're petty people. Richard Lucas made this video aimed at me, but he never actually told me, of course, because that's that's what people like that do. They will project this amazing facade that they're doing it, they're speaking to people, they're talking truth to power, but in reality, they're not doing that. They're just sitting in their house and they're making videos. But the funniest bit of all this story is that Richard Lucas and the SFP in turn, they actually spent hard currency to advertise their video against me, which in turn has absolutely blew up my channel. <laughs> so most people who have seen this advert by Richard Lucas have seen me saying something totally right about the party and then they've heard this weirdo start talking about transphobic politics and stuff like that and the people that have been watching it have thought hey hang on a minute what the hell's going on here then they've went in turn they've searched my video up and they've come to my channel and they've been like SFP adverts took me to your channel this it's been one of the more absurd things that's happened it's just a bit silly so here we are today now since this whole Scottish Family Party advert thing has happened and it's blew up my YouTube channel and it's sent people to my channel. People have been wanting me to reply directly to the Scottish Family Party. They've been wanting me to reply to Richard Lucas's video, speech, whatever you want to call it. So, here I am today. I believe that if you want to show the world what a political party is in its core, not on its outside, not on its facade, not on its flyers, not where they're trying to trick people into thinking they're like, but if you want to see what a party is actually like, you need to look at the internal discourses within that party. Because it's only by seeing the mindset and how people talk with, like the people that support their party talk, that you're ever going to get a real picture of what this political movement is about. So, today, Instead of just watching Richard Lucas's video and reacting to him, I'm going to instead look at the comments that were left to me by some really good people, because there's some awesome people left comments on the video too, but we're going to try and zero in on the comments left by the Scottish Family Party supporters. First things first, right? Now, I wanted to start this video off with a bang. And I'm going to do it right now. The first comments we're going to look at, the user actually tried to delete these comments. So when I went to find these comments, they were gone. Disappeared out of the system. But thankfully, YouTube doesn't delete notifications, it seems. So we still have the notifications on screen. A day ago, 
Jeff Wode left me a comment. First of all, we get the ad effin droon you ya wee prick. Now, obviously droon means drown. So that he's threatening to drown me. Well, he's not threatening. He's saying that he would drown me. Fair enough. It's a strange comment to leave on. I mean, go SFP. Jeff Wood also told me that effing freak, maybe your laptop should be scrutinised. It wouldn't be a far right story unless you were being accused of being a nonce. I am actually surprised it took three weeks for someone to come out with a nonce comment because that's normally what the far right do. Anyone that challenges them is a nonce. Whatever. Stigma Schmidt. Did the responses bring anyone else here? Now, I'm stuck for words here because I'm trying to describe how much of an own goal Richard Lucas's video was. All his video about me did was send people to my channel. Whether they're good or bad. As you can see here, this conversation here, a lot of people believe they found a good channel in this from this thing. They came to my channel and subscribed. It was really cool. It says whatever plan he had absolutely backfired by addressing me because it's just sent people to me. Their advert pointed out how reactive this YouTuber is. Correct. I'm not a supporter of the SFP, but it's amusing seeing them dismantle this shit argument. Highland Rab. Every few days, right, there's a pattern. Every few days, a new person that disagrees with it finds the channel and they'll have a little ranch fest and they'll post on a million things then they get bored and go away. Rob is the latest of these. We're gonna have more from Rob later, guaranteed. Is Rooster came from their advert, LMAO. I was like, this is a good video until that man appeared trying to defend this monstrosity. <laughs> As you can see, this is exactly what I was telling you about. People started watching Richard Lucas's video because obviously he paid money to advertise it, people. People were having this video literally thrown at them. The video starts with me making a rational and balanced description of the SFP party and their nasty, toxic, horrible, disgusting politics. And then like 30 seconds later, Richard Lucas comes on and starts trying to defend those politics. I cannot believe how terrible they have actually been at social media during this election. It's just mind blowing. David, he left a great comment here. Fresh new ideas, he says which basically I'm out to want to recreate the 1950s. He is right. That is what this party want to do. They want to bring people back to the old days. Under LMAO, they know they are controversial because they took off con dislikes and comments and they cut the important parts out of this video. This is something that has happened here. You will find there is a lot of selective commentary by the SFP and their supporters. So here we go, Gav Smith. Gav Smith, he's a good guy. He's been, he's left loads of good comments on this video. I like people like, like Gav. We promote marriage is simply their underhanded way of saying we don't think gay people should be allowed to marry. It's exactly it. Gav's point here brings me to a point about the SFP. Now, one of the funniest things I have read in the last few days was an SFP supporter telling me that I should have researched the party before commenting, uh, commenting on their who they are. So I actually thought, I was like, yeah, you know what? He's maybe got a point. Let me do some research. That guy should have never, t why, why people that support that party are telling anyone to do research on the party is mind-blowing. Because as soon as you research this party, all you find is hypocrisy after hypocrisy after hypocrisy. Like, their whole thing, we promote marriage, right? They say they promote marriage, whilst in the Highlands, they have a guy standing in the Highlands, right? Now, let me tell you about this guy's story. I forget his name. I'm dyslexic. I'm really bad at remembering names sometimes. It is one of them. You'll be able to find this guy quite easy because all you have to do is search in Google Scottish Family Party Former Gay Porn Star. It, now, I've, now, just to say right now, I've got nothing against gay porn in the slightest. I used to work in the LGBT world, specifically in the homoerotic world. I worked for a guy who owned a sauna. My office was attached to the back of a sauna. I say this just to, to let people know that I've got no problem with gay people, gay porn, Anything like that, I genuinely couldn't give a shit. People should be able to do what they want to do, right? When the SFP party talk about promoting marriage and, like, doing things that are good and proper and being all, like, Victorian and Puritan, they are absolute hypocrites because the guy in, in the Highlands is a former gay porn star who is living with a partner with a child unmarried. You could not write it. I've got so many questions about this guy. It's like, at what point, like... I, I, just so many questions. Mate Maya responded, a good, she found a good content creator out of this, or he, damn right. 
researching the Scottish Family Party got me to subscribe to you, so they did one thing right. Yes, they did. That is the one thing they did right. Here we go. The 38 dislikes are from the 38 members. I like this one. But anyway, thank you for speaking about this. Me and my pals were talking about how crazy this was too. I'm glad someone has made a vid on how we feel. Anytime. Happy to help. Here's Gamma Ray. We've been getting like 10 of these leaflets a day. Now, this is this actually brings me at another point. It, I started wondering, I was like, where the hell are these people getting their money from? Like, like they, they, they put out an advertising campaign about my last video. Like, I know they spent at least £100 advertising against me. Where the hell did they get this money from? So let's go down here. Patrick, Patricia Lockhart. I'm transgender. Where do I sign up for the trans ideology? No one told me he had an ideology. Exactly. This, this, this was a part of their flyer that blew my mind. They're talking about this trans ideology. It's, like, what are they even talking about? Jonathan McGeevy. This channel seems to have really triggered the SFP. Their response, the response to you was the height of cringe. Top quality free advertising. Hell yeah, it was. Psychotic Ewoks. Good commenter. I like it. He had the, they've got a good comment there. I had one of these dudes at the door the other day. Let me get that down. I had one of these dudes at the door the other day. Apparently, they're not religiously motivated, which blows my mind. Which I was surprised at, as they sound exactly like evangelical Christians in the USA. They're, I cannot believe that they are not, in some way, evangelistic Christians. I want, I want, I want to get to the people that are slagging you off. The one and only bro. You lies. Bro. You're not the bro. He's calling me a beta. Now, what does that even mean? I actually, I don't live in a wolf pack. That has no bearing on my life. Quint. Quint. Oh, 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 I just got the joke. What an edgelord. The real one getting free advertisement out of this video is SFP. They paid £100 to advertise my video. <laughs> they have not got free advertising out of this. End of discussion. I get it, but your video will have done more harm than good. Everyone's allowed to comment. Fair enough. Sadly, this comment's wrong. The only person who got free advertisement out of this is me. And the other point about this, and there's another person made this comment as well, and I, I felt it needed to be talking about. Their view is that by talking about bad people, you're advertising them and you're giving them more of a platform. The only way you can stop things happening is by speaking out against them. If there's anything the last few years should have told everyone in society, it's that speaking out about things is a good thing. Speaking out in the right way is what brings attention to bad things that need to be spoken about. People can disagree with this if they want. That is entirely up to them. But I disagree. I completely disagree. And I feel that the logic that underpins this whole video and this whole thing here justifies what I'm doing. Disconnected, they are ripe for the picking. I'm surprised a party like that exists in Scotland. So am I. <laughs> so am I. General Alan Cunningham, both votes dank. I like his name. Not necessarily. For example, people are advocating that Scotland should be turned into a Stalinist dictatorship. If the government cracked down on groups like that, I would, I would oppose the government's action. Because, not because I'm a Stalinist, but because... I must be consistent when I support freedom of expression. I make the point that they're defending free speech in the way that they only want to speak bad about things in the way they want to do it. And this person's saying not necessarily. And then he starts talking about Stalinist dictatorships. And I'm sorry, mate, but if you want to make a point, how about just stop trying to call things Stalinist? Because it just makes you look stupid. It, it, it really is stupid. That had me checked out there. I'm like... Stalinist government. Like, mate, get with the programme. Denzel Smith. Ha ha, what a fruitcase. Please just leave Scotland. Oh, he's edited it. The first time he posted this, it said, please have let Scotland. <laughs> I'm glad he's fixed this, fixed the writing and we can actually understand what he's trying to tell me now. Please just leave Scotland. Why doesn't he move to England? Why doesn't he move to Wales or Northern Ireland? Mate, you've got a whole union you can go and explore. I'm happy being just here in Scotland. Mark Sherritt, they've got my vote, definitely. Common sense at last. You're a fanny. I'm glad that he spelt you are, you're right. That's a common mistake people make, including me. No, he actually, we actually had a good interchange here. Oh, someone else said, what a twat. You are, Mark. <laughs> Kyle, 
I'm an atheist and disagree with the SFP on the majority of issues as well, but you do come off as quite manic and ignorant in their rebuttal video. Imagine how triggered you'd get doing a live discussion with them. Laugh at your face. We've got to be real here, right? This is a YouTube video. The me you see here, this is me at 11. This is me at maybe 10.5. I could be more manic than this. This is maybe at 11. I could go worse. 